Hello folks and welcome to Evergreen Valley. This is a map created by Zero Oito. Map maker who bought you Frontier and oh boy this is a jam packed map which makes why this is 733.56 megabytes to download. There are some required mods, there are 7 required mods. Got the Sell Everything Container by Schultz Modding, the American Farmhouse by OK Use Mods, the Telehander Pallet Fork by Matt Trucker 921, the Lizard, Lizard F350 by Agrotono, the Old Time Shed Pack by Zero Oito, the Sword Shed by Zo Zo Zero Oito, and lastly the Lizard Circular Pivot Irrigation by Hispano. So that last one is very interesting. So, yep, here we are. We're on new farmer mode. And yep, slot count we'll get to in a sec. But first of all, let's look at the PDA. So, examine the PDA. And we'll read the description about this one in a sec. So, we've got a very clear north and south section of the map. And actually, I like the actual PDA map of itself. It's like a little tablet. So, we're connected to the internet and our tablet or whatever is on vibration. We got alarm clock and ooh, thirty-four percent, so we need to charge at some point. But anyways, let's read the description first of all. Welcome to Evergreen Valley. Evergreen Valley is a fictional place situated in a unique geographic region that offers fastly mix of economic activities. The north as we see up here, is home to mines that extract a variety of valuable minerals and resources, contribute significantly to the region's economy to the south. So that's down here. The topography smooths out to give way a vast expanses of fertile land. In this region, agricultural is predominant activity. Evergreen Valley thus stands out as a place where natural Harmonious joins human activity, creating a unique atmosphere that combines the harshness of mining with the beauty and fertility of agricultural lands. There are 39 new products, train, various points of sales, and points of sale to sell everything. So those two points are exactly the same. 41 purchasable plots of land, 31 fields, there are 16 collectibles, and more. And also goes on to say the production of energy is necessarily for the variety of productions used. So you can use a generator or a coal plant to produce energy. Nice. And yeah, it says as following: use the distribute function to ensure the energy reaches your productions. So yeah, in terms with the PDA. So yeah, we've got up here up north. So about 95% of this map can be purchased. On new farming mode, we start with plot one. We'll look at that in a sec. But yeah, we've got mines up here. So we've got, I think that's like an ore mine. We've got a limestone factory, a marble mine. We do have access to a train, FSD pot, <coughs> a small coal plant, coal mine, construction site. So I guess that's the coal mine down there by the looks of it. There are some huge fields as well. As we go further down, got our animal deer ship, milk cell, your buying of manure and liquid manure, looks of it. Or your selling of it, we'll have a look at that. You got Miller Sawmill. And then head down to the main town. So you got oil extraction, another train area. Recycling Center, this is logistics, so that is a sell point. Also, we've got a hotel room, Hotel Central. So, you didn't need to start on when you're on new farm mode at a farm, you can start at a hotel. And you've got seeds, fertilizer, and lime. We'll have a look at those. So I'm guessing they are buy points. Got a shop, got a couple of productions in town. So, yeah, we'll have a look at all of these. And then, uh, yep, yeah, as we head further south. There are a couple of little factories, so you've got a grain elevator, bell pad storage, grain mill, main farm, factories and that, and yeah, we'll have a look at all of this, 
and lower and yeah there are one two three four circular fields so they don't require the uh was it by hispanic modding the circular pivot irrigation but it does help so here we are on new farm remote slot count is 1634 and what do you start with on new farm remote so we start with the following under small tractors we've got the volvo Krabat. we've got a john deere 7810 which is very used for thousand hours and we've got a brand new massey ferguson 7s210 we got a new Holland C H7.7. Also got a brand new BM Volvo wheel loader. We got the Aussie F350 cab. We got a Wilson Trader, 28 foot or 8.5 meter header in that. We got two disc arrows. We already got a very small one meter one and a large, er, at least one. So yeah, that's the Agramas. Cedars, we got the Lemkin Solitaire 12. Rollers, we've got the Dalbo Power Roll 1230 HD. Yep, we've got the pivot irrigation. We've got the 124 meter variant. Fertilizer spreaders, we've got the Bredel K105. And a yeah, high dump bucket for the wheel loader. Low loader trader, header trader, and a body for the pickup. And on farm manager and start from scratch. You do start with the Massey Ferguson, the truck, and the wheel loader and its equivalent tool. So we we'll have a look at those in a sec. So that slot count goes down to 1,461. If you come on this map, you get rid of the tractor and the wheel loader and the train and all that, including the yeah, Mack truck and that. Slot count goes down to 1,398 slots. So here we are looking at the main farm area. So, yep, yeah, with the main farm, we've got some storage areas. Always got our farmhouse, our pickup. That's beautiful, it's by the river, so you got to get some nice views. Got an American shed where our Wilson trailer is stored. Got a green silo, and again, another workshop area. And there are some custom items, there are custom greenhouses, custom production chains, custom terrain, custom fences, custom trees, and custom plants. So, under sheds, we have a little look. So yeah, we do have some custom sheds by the map itself, Evergreen Valley. And yep, yeah, ooh, interesting. That is a long shed, very long indeed. And yet, yeah, got your other sheds part of the old time shed pack. Under silos, we have a little look. Is there anything by, yep. Another one here by Evergreen Valley. And that is a bell and pad storage. Seven slots, 250 iron capacity. And yet, yeah, there are other mods available. And yes, yeah, so have a look. No. Under site extensions, we'll use that to get some money in. But yeah, also we've got milk storage and diesel power for the generator. So obviously we need to generate electricity in that for our production. So you can place this down as a way. 200 year capacity, one slot at the moment. But I think there's a couple of those dotted around, I'm not sure. Under containers, we've got the herbicide and liquid fertilizer dilution tank. Along with that, we do have a water tank, so you can wipe this down wherever you want. And then under tools, we have a look. Anything under tools? Nope. Farmhouse. Oh, you do start off with some selectable of houses, so American farmhouse. Have a look here, American Farmhouse. Farmhouse. See, that is like that one. Oh, was it? 71 on Obey Room. So, yeah, some base game maps that's been converted. We also do have a tent. Another tent. 
bit of more of a glamping tent and that is it with production chains let's go to the end so yeah we've got custom versions of the base game bakery bakeries and all the other production chains so yeah the additions are pallets and electricity along with gas some of them some of, yeah like the bakery there are is an option for gas if you don't use electricity under cell points there's no mod cell points since we're using the cell everything container by Schultz modding a cracking map ma not map maker modder that under greenhouses, we do have some upgrade variants of the greenhouses, so... And yeah, it's more complex, so it gives us the additions of carrot, watermelon, and what's that, cabbages? So we'll have a look at that. Under orchards, there is nothing. Under generators, there is a diesel generator, so... You can produce electricity via the diesel and that, so we can use, let's say you want to place one of those down, back under side extensions, and yeah, we can just place, oh no, just a couple of these down, and yeah, we'll have a little look at that, so, yeah, I'm interested to see how this works, and yep, yeah, even though I won't be doing a full in-depth of this, and yeah, apparently it says material is missing. Let's skip ahead an hour. Was that count or do I need to fill these up? By the looks of it, yeah, so in terms of diesel to electricity, it's a 1 to 4 ratio, 240 cycles per month, so within a fair reason. But anyway, so we'll go and turn that off. So yeah, back under here, so we've looked at that, looked at productions, there are no custom animals. Under decorations there is a plethora of fences, so, so we've got power poles, so yeah, if you want to do like your power lines and that way you're producing electricity, so, to do that, also you've got an end post. M post with a transformer. Man, you could go proper in depth with this. Then you got a typical normal fence. Got a gate. So we're going like that down there. And yeah, got more fences. Place that down. Anything of interest. That's gate. Do I chicken not chicken wire fence? That's chicken wire fences, I think. Yep, power poles as well you've got. So you do something a bit more modern. And... Interesting. And yes, you can go so far out before it'll whack another one pitter down for you. Interesting. How much do they cost? Oh, they can get quite expensive very quickly. More fences, not mean to do that. So yeah, back under yeah, fences. And yeah, I think that is all of it. Or is there yeah, that is all of it. Under lights, there is no custom lights. Under others, nope. But we do have some custom landscaping textures, so we'll head back up here once again, so Aussie. Animal mud, got your asphalt, which is the same, but then you've got a variety of concrete. Again, more concrete variations. And you've got a bit of a dirt variant, another dirt variant. And yeah, so you can get super creative there's like like farm tracks no grass is the same so yeah different levels of grass got tons of gravel 
And then you've got your base game stuff here, so... You are definitely not limited in options, so... That is the whole PDA and the menus of that. So yeah, we've got the pickup here, and if there's like random little cuts here and there, that's me having the coffee or something, don't worry. But anyway, so now we've got ourselves basically sampled and sampled, set it up to be aware of just what we start off with here. So yeah, now let's tour the map. I need to put some money in, so let me do that a sec. So yeah, there we go, we've got the money in, and yep, yeah, I thought whilst we're doing it, because I need to put Greenhouse Sam to have this little automatic war baby in, I thought yeah, let's have a quick look at the greenhouses, so, got a base game version you're all aware of, and then you've got the one that is used by the map maker. So let's go and open this, because there is a significant difference, so yep. Yeah, Cabbages, I did get that right. I didn't know, I just looked at it and went, Cabbages? My cabbages! If you knew that reference to Avatar, but, oh uh, yeah, anyway, it's getting distracted once again. So yeah, comparing the greenhouse here, so just looking at tomatoes or tomatoes, we're basically we get 1500 years a month, and then with the modded version, Again, you do require a bit of seed, a bit of fertilizer, and a pallet or two. But one pallet per recipe for a cycle. So, yeah, 72 times 88. That is. Da, 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 6,336, I think. Yeah, 6,336. So, compared to base game, you're getting four times as much, pretty much. Yep, of course, a bit of extra items and that, but again, depending on economy settings and that, whether you use and what cell points you use and that, you can make that worth your while. So, yeah, we need to get cracking on here, so. Turns with everything to be purchasing. I'm going to purchase every single item. And, yep, I just want to have a look of what you can buy. What you can't buy, and buy all the productions within said facility. So, yeah, like fill prices, we're looking at around 450 grand for the forestry. For the actual fills, you're looking upwards to a million or so. And then you have to get down to smaller fills, you're looking at around half a mil. Then once you to get to smaller fills, 200 grand. That's 300 grand. 81 grand. Oh yeah, you do also have some grass meadows, so... Yep, let me just go and get all this purchased a sec. So there we go, I've gone and purchased some of the items. I haven't gone and purchased all of them because I thought actually said we will purchase them as we're going around, but... Just to put things into perspective, things like the big mines and that. They cost like 600, yeah, 650,000, so... Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Back it up, back it up. What was that I just saw? Ah, the way car. Ah, I see it, I see it. Frontier, Ravenport, Route 242. Only if I knew my US maps now. Whoa! Wait a minute! Sweet! We actually get different... Oh, sorry. Obviously not just your generic farm sim traffic. We also get tankers and that. Sweet! Oops, dodgy camera angle there. So yeah, we're going over the river. And yeah. I'm just like, making sure I'm not missing anything. Hyper fist. Hyper, not hyper fist, uh, hyper fast pizzas. So, yeah, here we are at the Great Mill. And the Great Mill. So, yeah, the inputs are here, so we can go off and sell. 
on here. The trigger is over here. I get three mil itself was like 150 grand. So yeah, we have the green milk itself. Actually, let's just step back a sec because that is loud. So yeah, the green milk itself, you can produce wheat, barley, oat, sorghum, corn, and soybean flour. Nice. And once again, cross electricity and pallets. And one thing I forgot to show was with the map. Let's just drive out here a sec. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, just yeah, it was quite loud and didn't mess with audio in post. But so yeah, that's your pallet and bell storage. So it's like similar to the base game stuff. But yeah, so with like pallets and that, as of yet, I'm not sure we can produce pallets. But if you go into, it'll be under. If I could do it officially, it'll be under pallets under objects. But yeah, if we go to Evergreen Valley, so yeah, we've got the Case 721G. There is one automatically at the shop. And, interesting, there is music in the workshop, so... I'm going to leave this up for now. And yeah, if I do get copyrighted, fair enough. If I do get copyrighted, I'll leave it somewhere here in that, or edit it out. Or I'll just leave a comment underneath the video afterwards, that when it's released, so... Options, standard, for lizard, Troborg, standard, twins, narrow twins, standard 2, standard 3, standard 4. Make her options, so you got your typical case colours. If you're into your case, like, agriculture, like, mining equipment. And also you got your case red and your other basic palettes color pallets but yeah speaking of pallets everything you need so things like pallets maintenance tools which cost 10 grand for 10,000 liters Oof. yeah so you got drilling equipment mining equipment vehicle parts gas cement concentrated liquid fertilizer concentrate herbicide bond silage silage additive Ah yeah, so yeah, all this can be purchased very easily. Yeah, because I'm not sure what if these we can produce any of these as of yet. I haven't looked around properly yet, so yeah, because thing is well the maps up, I'll do a generic look around, like But yeah, a lot of it is we'll go around together and discover the map, so that is the green mill. I think what we'll do is head back across the river. And then we'll turn right, and yeah, we'll head <coughs> head up to 26, 27, because there is a farm up that way with sheep and that I've noticed. And then yeah, we'll look at the coal mines, and then go from there. So over the bridge, ooh, rickety bridge. And I want to know actually. Let's say if you're like me, you tend to get a quip stuck in the water. Is it deep? Oh yes, that is deep, so be careful of that. We'll look at the spawn trigger now in a bit. Once we get to the main town area. So yeah, we've got a vast amount of fields now, even up here, like 26. You can imagine like starting here on 26, 27 with the farm over here. That's what it is, you're right next to a mine, so living and working next to a mine may not be everyone's cup of tea. Especially when you consider like, the terrain and that, because, yeah, that ain't user friendly, so. So I guess there's not be a space there for your house. Got shed storage over here. And I'm just getting back down, look left. Map up so yeah, got your sheep barn here, base game sheep pen. And uh, what's that? Pallet storage by the looks of it. Sheep barn, yeah, bell and pallet storage. And speaking, yeah, it's modded stuff, but it blends in so well. That's the thing, it blends in so well, and it's actually used properly, just 
plonk down on the map in that and just go, there we go, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. But yeah, like taking that view. That is a beautiful scenery. And then we're at the vast industrial complex area, so the train's going past, which is different. It's a diesel locomotive. So yeah, we're up here. Got your construction site. Over here. Can you purchase anything here? Is it like a production? Nope. So yeah, that construction site is just your cell point. So yeah, this is the coal mine we purchased, and this one costs 400. So yeah, bit rough to see, but input materials is 25 maintenance tools, 14 mining equipment, one vehicle part, two electricity, and that can be done 24 times a month, and your output is mineral ore, or mineral coal, sorry, stones, dirt, sand, and iron ore. That is interesting. Like, I haven't played Frontier before, but that is interesting. And then as we head up north, just this north of the mine, we get the small mine, and that costed 150 grand, just looking at my notes. And yet, yeah, that requires maintenance tools and some min mineral coal. So yeah, mineral coal will go in, but how will you get... Unless you get that started by other means, then whatever mineral coal you get can be put into the coal plant and then produce electricity. Ah, oh, that is interesting. No, no, actually, like, figure out my head now. That is interesting. Bit of a, sort of a tick for tack kind of thing. So yeah, as I was saying, we're back in the pickup. The coal mine we just looked at is here, or coal plant. So yeah, just there to the right. And I'm wondering, can you remove any of these? I'm just tapping around. No, you cannot. Uh, to be honest, why would you? And interestingly, like... Actually, I think there's like a sign over here somewhere. So yeah, got your coal supply, coal stacks. And yeah, as we go around, you'll see this everywhere. Like, it'll explain what is working and that. And yeah, it goes to the transformer lines and all that once you get electricity. Unless you guys should go around the area, you see like just the vast complex going on. Yeah, again, the noise, but still. And then over here somewhere should be like a transformer in that. So yeah, then they just get electricity sent off. So you got your train area here. A decent load of space. Oxford find ways with that to get creative. So yeah, FS depot or I'll get some farm sim depot. Depot, depot, however you pronounce it. Yeah, we've got contracts. And FS depot depot. I call it depot, so that's things like your cotton, eggs. And yeah, just a variety of items. <coughs> so anyways, let's try to tap right. Mm, that hasn't really helped. But yeah, so we're in the pickup now. Let's go up to the PDA. So we've looked at here. That's the train. That's where the train leaves. So yeah, we we'll head up to war pumping. And then next head up to the marble mine. Uh, yep, yeah, I will try. I forgot to say at start. Whoopsie. But for those who are familiar with my videos recently, because my mod reviews and my map tours, I will do my best to leave timestamps down below. And I will do the same here. So we've got a water pumping plant. Get some water pumping plant. 140 grand. And yeah, that is to extract water again. A little bit of electricity and a little bit of maintenance tools, so... 
Oh, I can just think of a new Let's Play series on this map for me. Oh yeah, I'm looking for a new Let's Play series, so entrance is this way. Thank you, sir. Ah oh, yeah, so this is like the marble, yeah, marble mine. Wow. <laughs> like the amount of work that must have gone into this map. I know, like, Frontier, like, with Missy P when he did his Let's Play series on it, like, yeah, I was a late comer to watching this series and that, but. Ooh, should keep that help menu open. Oh, that's just tension belt. Sarah was like, oh, what's that? But, yeah, like, the amount of work that goes into these maps, like, these are the kind of maps I love if it's, like, good levels of detail. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that like snow or. It sounds like snow, but of course it's simulated as lime or marble weather. That is interesting. They got the big mining equipment over here. Nice. And yep, marble cuts a process. I'm a wire saw beads in now. So yeah, this one costed how much? Well, I think it was like around 100. Uh, I forgot. Sorry, my bad. But yeah, so maintenance tools, mining equipment, vehicle parts, diesel, electric, and you get your marble block. And I'm sure as we go around, there's going to be other productions that require materials from one production for another and just all that good stuff. Let's head back down here, see if there's anything to see. Nope, by the looks of it. Oh, that is nice. See that? Sweet! What's this hazard box area? Ah, wait a minute. I think. Don't tell me that's where that goes. I think it does. It might look a bit. That pivots around, maybe? No, it can't be because it's here. Ah, no, no, no. This is where your blocks gets reduced. Yeah, I get it now. That is nice. But yeah, also I won't be like, going like full in depth on this map because again, this is just basically a first look. Map tour and that. Tour around, have a little looky here, looky there. My words, I'm struggling for words tonight. I don't know what is it. Oh yeah, of course it's three o'clock in the morning, what you expect, envoy, but Anywho, so yeah. Now we're heading to the main mine. And, ooh. Got that sort of, off, oh, what's it? That, uh, what are you using, like, with explosives and that? With the warning clacks and. So yeah, lime suit factory. So that requires stones, electric, and maintenance source. So yeah, it's 50 stones to 20 lime, so not the best. Ooh, someone came out there, be careful, bud. Because, yeah, with that klaxon going, that only means kaboom any moment now. And Envoy does big kabooms. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go down here. Wee! Six land in. So yeah, here we are down the pit. So yeah, this is a definitely, yeah, definitely material. Let me move out of here a sec. Because yeah, like yeah, definitely material there you can pick up in that with the front over. I'm lost for words with this, like... Okay, these are barrels. And yeah, 
this is the actual mine itself from the trigger net. Yeah, you know, like a huge complex of so you've got shafts in that. Everyone else is shaft in that. Down here. Ah, can't go down there. Shame. I guess it's for a reason for our safety in that. But yeah, I do apologize about that the noise. Anytime soon. Was that like glitchy textures there? I had a glitchy texture there moments. But anyway, so yeah, that's definitely the material war you can pick up here. So yeah, let's head up north west. I was remembering my west and east. Yeah, let's head up here. Again, more material you can pick up in that. And yeah, so we'll head Upwards to 2221. Ah, uh, yeah. Pardon me there. And this is going to be your main entrance. Oh, yeah. Just getting out of here because of that klaxon. So, yeah, we'll head left here. And then, what's over here? So, out of deer ship, liquid, milk cell. We're guessing that's purchasable animal foods in that. And then we got Miller Sawmill. So, yeah, there we go. Just looking at the map again. So, got Miller Sawmill over there, directly with the train. And then, yeah, over here we've got our animal dealership area. Sells every week, license, and, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah, this is where you purchase your animal food. This is where you sell your milk. And um, head up here, down here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just walking around as well, because I want to try to find a collectible as well. So you've got your dial box for your animal trigger. Ah, uh, yeah, just checking with the sheeps and that. Oh, uh, nope, my apologies. Slight variations to the base game version, so yeah, that can hold a hundred sheep. Yeah, so that's your bell cell point over there. I know uh, this is your manual answer a cell point. Fair enough, not too bad. Yeah, overall, beautiful, nice, well detailed area. And it, it blends in with that border between agricultural and the mass industrial complex, because yeah, you've got the big mines up north. And yeah, they're just outside of range, that's just behind that tree line. You may see a, a shaft or two in that. But yeah, next we'll head to a Midder Sawmill. Yeah, clucked behind. I'm guessing that's because that's the exit, maybe. But NQ, so yeah, we have Midder Sawmill. Wood goes in, so you get planks, beams. Long boards and your pallets. So, pallets, it's a 6 to 10 ratio, so 3 to 5. So, yeah. Yeah, overall, not too bad in that. So, being you know, as soon as math out, you'll probably need one or two of those going. And there are a couple of sawmill stars over the map. So, you've got your red train trigger here. Five grand a month. Christ. Oh yeah, this is your tipping in point over here from the witching snacks, I'm guessing. And then that's your dumper point for logs and that, side of wood. So yeah, we proper have a good little forestry business up, business up here. And again, I am definitely thinking about doing a let's play series on this map, and I've got so many ideas and that on this map. Pine trees are nice and tall so get a lot of literage from that. So yeah, before we get hit by the train, because yeah, knowing me, I do get a bad habit of hitting trains. 
Well, it's more so the trains hits me, so... Alright, we're up here, so what I'm going to do is... Actually, what I'm just going to cut across... No, can't cut across. Can we? Yeah, there's a track down here, right? Is there... So yeah, there's a track down here. Oh, a bit of a hard crunch there. So yeah, I'm going to head back across the river, towards where we started, and then I'm going to go up that main drag strip into the town. And yeah, oops. Head down here. Well, if we went up there, we could have come down. Oh, no, 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 Oh, God. Really? Because, yeah, I was like, ooh, look at this house. And, yeah, can you actually... When it comes to over here, you can buy this area here, interestingly. So, yeah, probably like a seat trigger here. It could be, again, camping in the woods and that. Work out the sawmill and that. So many ways of playing this game. But no, don't go forward, I want you to go back. Do not sink. There we go. No magic editing, and we got ourselves free. Uh, so, a minor heart attack averted there. Yeah, next time pay attention to the road, folks. I think, I think my best advice is oh, yeah, pay attention to the roads. So yeah, back across Rickety Ridge, Rickety Ridge, Rickety Bridge. Yeah, I am definitely losing my words today. Well, I'm not losing them, I'm just making up random gibberish. So yeah, I want to go right, cross the town, and then we'll loop back round left down, off the left side of the map, cross the bottom drag, and then upwards to the west, so, or east. So yeah, we want to go and tickle. Yeah, anti-clockwise. So yeah, yeah, here we are at the main town. And this is where there are a lot more productions. So starting off here. There's not many areas you can purchase. You can purchase these areas here. And some look, does it enable anything? Nope. So yeah, you've got your dairy plant and your bell and pallet storage, so yeah, definitely with this map you can go all out with production chains and not to worry about storage and that, because the pallets will spawn relatively close like literally here, they'll spawn here I just go plunk over there and I'm just looking for a trigger, there we go it's always with the dairy, 70 grand, similar to base game price and once again, it's the same, yeah, 3 to 2 for the milk and that. The only thing is, of course, a little bit of electricity, pallet, and you get a little bit of trash. And you get some UHT milk, interestingly. Didn't know that. Actually, is there like a price difference in that between the UHT milk and normal milk? So yeah, UHT, 4 grand at its peak price give or take and just yeah look, look at what you can sell you can sell soybean oil UHC milk canned corn canned olives yogurt or yogurt for your Americans tomato sauce ketchup pallets carrots but not the premium expansion carrots watermelons your cabbages soy milk you can sell mason sauce drilling equipment mining equipment petroleum metal pipes Rebar, no, rebar, not rebar. That's a different, <laughs> yep. Metal beams, metal cables, vehicle parts, gas, wooden beams, long boards, cement, concrete blocks, trash, recyclable material, chocolate cake, marble block, sawn marble, concrete beam, concrete slabs, concentrate herbicide, concentrate liquid fertilizer, so cell points for those, iron ore, dirt, sand, mineral coal, and that is it. But yeah, I was like, I'm going to quick look at some of these prices, and if you can work the mining at, even if you get a percentage of the profits, that is absolutely good. So, 
Ooh, more... Sweet, that is like... Oh, double dump trade or whatever it's called. Yeah, I do, apo uh, do apologise if I sound too excited. It's like... It's like a kid in the candy store in a way. So yeah, got our far depot over here. And I'm wondering, is there a collectible nearby? So, bear with me a sec. Nope, couldn't find anything. But yeah, I think next is the restaurant. And that is a cell point by the looks of it. And yeah, like Mac trucks out. Sweet, so head over here. So yeah, got your restroom cell point over here. How do you enter though? Unless it's open at a certain time and that's because... Yeah, these vehicles are no great to go now, but... No, like open gate in that. Oh right, it'll open now, weirdly. But oh, anyway, so yeah, head further into the town. Got another cell point over there. That is your hypercube pizza. What did I say it was earlier? Off, uh, I'm not sure. Hyper something. Got another cell point here, that is your bakery. And I'm sure, there it is. Head to the front, just to try to jump around there. There we go, purchase bakery. 45 grand. Bit of a weird price, but yeah, again, the ratios and that to the bakery and that recipes it's three to two and the only difference is requires some um, yeah milk which is a bit different which is realistic don't get me wrong pallets gas or electricity so yeah the gas and electric are optional so you can get the gas in and yeah there may be an area where you can I know produce gas but yeah, we'll have a little look at that. But now we're at the store, so when you're on new farmer mode or start from scratch, you start with these, so... Interesting. Again, I'm, I'm getting ideas off storylines, but... Yeah, we're at Cleaver Motors, so... Your main entrance to the dealership is here. There is music, so you've got your trigger here. For show your mods, your help icons are here. Bit of a wasting error in that. Don't get wrong, slice of music. Within reason. But yeah, I've just seen if there's any collectibles in here. But yeah, that's your like, store icon in that. Your vehicle spawn and reset point where you purchase new equipment is here. And here we are at the D ship where we do have. Which I remember to mention, so. When you get here, it says it will open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. However, at least with me, I've tried this a few times on different modes and that, it opens at 9 a.m. and closes at normal time 8 p.m. But yeah, it's just that two hour <coughs> discrepancy in the advertising. Advertising says 7. But these are automatic aids, these aren't manual ones, so... Actually, can they be manual triggers? I don't think so, because I tried that a couple of times already, so nope. You can gain access here, via this gate here. But unless you think of something fit through here, or... I don't know, get a ramp and do a bit of like a du duking hazards and that stuff, over the fence. You're all pretty much screwed, so... Anyway, it's, like, it's the dealership. Vehicle shopping that. Got your fuel station across the road and then your hotel. So you get fuel station here. Then you got your little hotel, in or motel where you want to quit. 
See, so yeah, that's got collisions. Do these bollards have collisions? They do. Good to know. Or was that because of the curb, or so? Let's get on here properly. Yep, no, 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 bars do have collisions. Alright, fine, I'll go the proper way, going all the way around to your net. But <laughs> So yeah, we've got your hotel here. And yeah, as I thought it was, your seat trigger in it. So yeah, again, there's many ways to play on this map, and with all the cell points, with the proximity to the pallet and bell storages and that, you've got a ton of options on this map. So yeah, I think we'll start rapid, rapid with these things. Head to the logistics and recycling center, and then we'll continue around, loop back around, and then yeah, that's where I think we'll conclude the map tour. So there we go, we're just approaching, and yeah, once again, bit of a iffy thing to open. Yeah, it's like, unless it's, oh, is it because it's a different, yeah. Alright, it's not me going crazy, it's not me being angry at the gates all the time, it's me not reading things properly. Or just use my eyesight. Yeah, okay, entrance, shush folks, I know. There we go. In my defence, I'm used to driving on the correct side of the road. That's my excuse for that, so... Advertisement for Farm Simulator 22. This is your recycling centre, and I guess this is be for your trash. Oof. Oh, yep. So that costs 45 grand. So we can incinerate the trash, get some electricity, or recycle it. Depends on what your attitude is. For me, burn, baby, burn, and get some electricity, but yeah. So incoming materials is trash and made sense source. For the electricity, you do need some wood chips, weirdly. Ah, yeah, incineration to, yeah, fuel that. And then your dumping ground is here. And God, look at this filth! Is there a collectible in here? Nope. Only imagine there was a collectible in the trash. Be literally digging for treasure now, like. I don't know what it is. It says, yep, 16 collectibles. Yep, 16 collectibles. Oof. That's soluble there. But, anyways. Let's head back around and then start looping south. Back on the road again, and yeah, so we're going to head to the oil refinery first of all, and that's not the right way. Porsche Aggravation Pack. Something you don't really tend to see people use nowadays. But yeah, if I do do a series on this map, I have always planned on thinking of using all the. Oh, okay, that's a solid thing there. Well, yeah, as I say it. Yeah, whatever that roll. Yeah, I was thinking of using all the DLC, so. Of course, you've got your rent train trigger. But over here, this is where you make your petroleum. So let's go and have a little look. Dump triggers here. Someone just walked out. So for the oil extraction, extraction, 480 grand and requires maintenance tools, drilling equipment, and electric charge. So yeah, again, the, the amount of electricity required, it's not much. I think things like, not so much with this, I'm thinking, oh, where's one I'm looking at earlier? Things like, oh, big coal plant, we'll look at that damn south, but yeah, like the coal plants. Yeah, definitely can not require too much. And actually, to get in and out is, alright, okay, it's here again. I'm, yeah, it's me rushing to try to cheat things. Uh, yeah, oh, you got, uh, what's it called, the hammers, pipes, or whatever it's called. And unlike the crude oil mod we've got at the moment, which 
additional wells. Sweet! That is absolutely nice. Again, feel sorry for the four suckers working on these fields over here. Because next thing you know, big oil comes in that. Next thing you know, that's your house and that all bought up by eminent domain. And there's a locomotive going. So yeah, let's go and head up here and loop back around. And yeah, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But again, I'm trying to include all the details I can. And yeah, I'm sharing my passion. If sharing my passion means the map is a little bit longer, so be it. Or map tour, should I say. Yes, I know to say the correct way, but I'm just being lazy. Since we know the train is gone, to properly get over here, you'll need to cross the river. So that would be down, across, and back down here, so opposite where we came. Anywho, so yeah, back on the track, past field 16, and yeah, now I've got two of our bigger crop circle fields, as I call them. And yeah, we're on the final stretch, and yeah, overall, first impressions of this map is absolute beauty, stunning, and well detailed. I mean, it's like, so, again, I've mentioned before, so much work has gone into this map, and it shows. Okay, you've got the green silo here, so dump in there and that. Just having a little look, make sure I'm not missing anything. Then we we'll head down to the metal factory. Concrete factory. And then you've got your big coal plant. And your few factory in that. And... Is it me? Or is that in the distance? That looks like, ah, uh, what's it? Frontier. You know, the big civilization of, of Frontier? I'm not the only one who thinks that, surely not. Anyways, pulling over here. Oh yeah, I'm just... Ooh, that is interesting. Oops. Well, please see you can get out of here. Oh god, yeah, be careful of that. Perhaps put some barriers up, but yeah, it's like the debris crusher and that. And yeah, that's what it looks like, debris crusher or the, or in reality, the ore crusher, because this is the ore fa well, metal factory, right? So we'll purchase this for 135 grand. So yeah, for the ore you produce and the the beams from the Mines and sawmill, along with a bit of lime and a little bit of electricity. That's where you can make your metal pipes, your rebar, metal beams, metal cables, and vehicle parts for your other productions and that. And yeah, overall, not too bad. Decent ratios and that. Definitely makes steady money. And again, that's why I think, just looking at the prices and that, Overall, it's not overpowered, it's not unrealistic, like, you know, get a million pounds in a month. It's a few thousand pounds a month, yeah. However, thinking of buying this entire map, it's going to cost you a lot of money, and I think I forgot something. Yeah, concrete factory over here. So yeah, concrete factory, 85 grand. So yeah, for the war we extracted earlier, cement you can buy. Along with the dirt and sand as byproducts, pallets you produce, the root... It's not rhubarb, it's not a rhubarb crumble, for crying out loud, but... Rebar and electric charge. So yeah, it's, again, as mentioned, all intertwined. And yeah, just kind of ratios and that. You get your concrete blocks, get a little bit of trash, concrete slabs, and concrete beams. And uh, yeah, in, entrance and exit is down here. Storage now, and there is some good areas, because like with the map and that, as mentioned, like 95% of the map can be purchased. 
Okay, maybe not some of these buildings here, but... Four... What should I say now? They haven't can be purchased, it's just the factory itself can't be purchased. Only things you can't repurchase is, again, a lot of it is the main buildings and... Is that the Great Elevator, I'm guessing? Food factory... Yeah, the cooperative. Which, in hindsight... Not in hindsight, but in reality, it makes sense. But yeah, again, just overall, I am in awe of this map. Actually, ooh, little secret secret down here. I wonder what secret lies here, so... Ooh. Again, looking for collectibles. Ah, what car is that? Ugh. I recognise it, but... Oh, fuck. I knew it was an American made in that. An old muscle car of some sort. Oh, I know I'm going to be beat up in the comments for those who are into their cars. But yeah, Combine Harvester and that. I'm sure that could be restored in that to its former glory. And, ooh. Remove object on the farmland. So you can pick up the war can. Actually, let me purchase a chainsaw sec. Purchase the land for 360 grand. And that removes all of that. Oh, Both R, oh, but also. Yeah, all oh, and I do have some ideas on that. It's like the one thing left standing. But yeah, where do I leave the pick up to? So yeah. Actually, I didn't think there was a little shed there or not. And behind that leads to a little, it's a bitty tiny field. Okay, railway's clear. Sort off. And yeah, head down here. And then. So yeah, we've got a cluster of fields there. Up north is where we started. And then we head over the river. Over the rickety bumpy bridge. And yeah, this well will be wrapping up the tour as we re approach the farm. So yeah, we're at the local cooperative. So yeah, open the PDA. So yeah, got your cooperative here. So your cell point in that. And just to behind us here, we've got the food factory. And actually, what can you make? 160 grand. Ah, this is where you can get your corn oil, corn oils and all that. Well, not corn oil, but corn and oil. Just canned corn. And overall, just looking at the ratios and that. Overall, not too bad. Again, a bit of a slow production, I think. Yeah, 3,000 liters a month. Looking at that sunflower oil. Actually, no, is that a bit speedier, I think? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. It could be just me and that. And then... Behind us, we've got the bell storage and that. And they've got the fabric factory, so let's walk over there. So, yeah. We've got the bell storage here. And then, behind here, we've got the fabric factory. And again, anything interesting here? Nope, just fabric and a bit of trash. Trash? Yeah, trash. So, yeah, we can get a variety of ways. So, wool or cotton. 5 to 3.5, 2 to 1.5. That is better ratios, actually. So, overall, not too bad. And before we have a little look around. See, so yeah, we've got BG over there. That costs. 1.5 million. So let's head over there a sec. So let's get our pickup. And then we'll head on over. So there we go. Around here. Getting more abandoned equipment. Abandoned cloth dominator. Abandoned. Oh, what's that? Deutsche Far? Oh, yeah. Here we are at the BGA. So input and that for your liquid items are here. And then you got your bells and all that, they'll go in here. 
So yeah, trigger one and a half mil just cost it, which is a one megawatt BGA. And yeah, weirdly, you do get electricity from this, but there's no way to distribute it. I wonder, could that be in the future updating that? You know, customize this to so that the electric you make from this, you get even is it what? 24 litres of electricity a month. Yeah. Maybe I even have a purpose off the methane. For another production or something. Again, it's possible ideas I'm thinking out loud. But yeah, overall, not too bad. So yeah, that's that. I'm again, just covering all the bases. I know we've got down here to look at, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything up here. No, we looked at this earlier, so... Green Elevator... Yeah, I think we looked at that earlier, did we? I'm not sure. But, anyway, so let's head back to the pickup. And we're going to head back out of here, turn left. And then we'll head down to the massive coal plant. And that's where I think we'll wrap up the map tour. Finding a way to cross. So yeah, be up here under the bridge. So yeah, lizard energy. Careful, being monitored on cameras. And yeah, you can tell this is a good old coal plant. You know, there's nothing good back in the day, you know, getting your hands covered in soot. Breathing in all sorts of gunk and crap that on your chest. Oh, the hazard stays gone. So yeah, coal power, power, power electrical station. So yeah, like, again, if you're interested in this stuff, it is fascinating. So, force supply, coal goes in, up through stacks, gets heated by the boiler in the furnace, and that produces steam and turbine, so it spins around, generates electricity. But yeah, obviously it gives real all condenser in that first of all, yeah. I'm not in the best position to explain it, but yeah, this costed 450 grand, so... Again, needs a little bit of mineral coal, and some maintenance tools, but once you get that going, you get a lot of electricity going, so... Overall, if you can get it, get some coal going, so... So yeah, to get coal going, yeah, purchase some maintenance tools and that for the coal mine. Get that stored or distribute somewhere else. Perhaps distribute depending on what productions you've got available. That'll get then sent down here to be processed and that, or wherever I've had it. And then boom, literacy for everyone. Ah yeah, so we've got electricity. We've got a big whole plant here. That's where we're at. So yeah, we're here. But on the map it's saying the trigger is over here. Ah oh, no, no, this is still the loading area, so we've got loading area down here. So yeah, so I wonder what that was. And I'm guessing these are automatic gates now as well. Ah uh, yeah, so yeah, you've got your transformers here and that. And this is the actual main weight of coming in off the road. And then lastly up here, we've got, well, I have no idea, but... Ah, the marble sawmill. So you get your soap, sawn, marble, and that. Marble blocks required. So yeah, we looked at that earlier. And one thing I did notice, that's your input here. With a lot of maps now, when it comes to send trains, or send on the train, it will say, go to a trigger in that. Somewhere on the edge. And boom, gone. And actually, I want to look out a sec about the cell points, railroads. If I move back, 
So, yeah, because there's nothing else saying railroads. Unlike you'll see on other maps like Ravenport and that, or other maps in general that has trains. So, yeah, everything comes along here. And speaking of which, here comes the train. So, yeah, actually, let's, let's grab the train sec, so bear with me. So, yeah, I'll fall. Let's end the map tour here, just wrapping up, and yeah. The train. And interestingly, actually, I didn't realise, so up here, you can unload onto the train. So you've got items, so you can dump it into the train, or onto here on the roads, like here, for a lorry is. Actually, that is... wow. Didn't realise that the first time, I do apologise for missing that, but... Again, this map is so big and so vast, there's so much to cover in that, so... I do apologise if I've missed anything bits. If you know where any of the collectibles are, let me know down below. Yeah, so, yeah, let's get the local com locomotive. Yeah, let's have a little look around, so... I'll keep the map up there on the bottom left. And yeah, just taking the view, so... Overall, thoughts on the map, again, beauty, vast, stunning. Fast rate out of five. Honestly, I'm thinking ooh, four, four, four and a half. I'll say out of five. Yeah, it's it's good map and that. Again, this is me being nitpicking that. I'll be the absolute perfect map. It's things like the custom textures and that, with custom drop types and that. Even with the other mods, I'm gonna be looking at afterwards, which at the moment is being reviews quite poorly in that on the mod hub and that but that's because of all the Dutch mods it always requires with tends to be with some of these maps nowadays with got any Dutch maps not Dutch mods and that but besides from that and that waffling on yep yeah, overall a solid four and a half out of five absolutely liking this map and definitely gonna be doing a let's play series on this maybe I think what day is it today? Thursday, Friday? No, Friday today. So, yeah, get Court Farm sorted, get the final episode of Survival Challenge sorted over the weekend. So, yeah, who knows? Come Sunday or Monday, I may have a new Let's Play up. That's if I can figure out what to do, but besides from that, yeah, I cannot fault the map. This map is absolutely beautiful, stunning, and yeah, a top notch map by Zero Oito. They may. I think as we're going to leave, and that's where we'll leave it for the map tour. And as always, hopefully you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If so, smash that button. Don't forget down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you nice day. But for now, this is me from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all. A very soon.